Hello, hello! How are we doing? Chelsea Evans from Apple Blossom Way, and I am here live on the Redesign with Prima page to work on kind of a fun project with you guys today, and I'm excited to show you. So, uh, as you hop on, tell me your name and where you're from, and also tell me if you have ever worked on a surfboard or a purse product before. Uh, so, I have two projects, one that I'm planning on showing you and one is a backup. <laughs> so bear with me as we kind of experiment together. Um, I decide, I've had this surfboard, this kind of a funky surfboard and it had a different design on it and um, it was fine, but it, it wasn't quite the colors and the design that I wanted for my space. And so I just put a couple layers of Antique Villa Wiesel Chalk Synthesis paint over the top. And um, then I had planned to uh, add the transfers on the bottom. And I just barely did this and I've never worked with, it's like, I don't even know what the material is. It's like a foam. It's like a funky, weird foam. Maybe it's like the inside of a surfboard material. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> Anyways, I've never painted something like that, and different surfaces can react differently to different paints. And, uh, and I didn't let it sit on there quite long enough. So I tested a little spot, and the paint was kind of just not adhering to the surface. It's just a really weird surface. So I took it out, I sanded it a little bit to let some detail show through, and then I sprayed um, some top coat over the top of it. So I'm hoping that that will create a barrier and the paint will sit, settle on to our funky foam material. And then that um, little matte varnish that I put down will kind of create a barrier for us so that when I apply the transfer, our paint won't lift off the piece. Now, that could happen, it might still happen. And I was just thought, I'm not even gonna show them this um, because I didn't wanna do something live and have it not work. Cause that's embarrassing, right? But then I thought, no, I'm a teacher and uh, I learn from my mistakes and I, that is what I teach too, is that um, we make mistakes so we can learn from them and then we can help others and teach others. So this may work, it might not. Uh, so we're gonna try it out. If not, I do have a backup plan and I have this cool uh, bag. I found this at uh, the thrift store called DI, Desert Industries in Utah, um, Salvation Army, any type of thrift stores that you guys might have. I found this for a buck 50. It's a cool canvas bag. And I took the little um, metal plate off. I don't like that because I'm gonna re redesign it. And so I don't want someone else's logo on it. If I'm gonna totally change the look, um, I'm gonna put something else there. So Anyways, we've got it, it's all clean, and I love that it has just this blank canvas backing. So, we're gonna try the surfboard out. If it doesn't work, then I have another uh, transfer that I'm gonna show you on how to apply to this surface. And then we will go with plan B, all right? <laughs> so, let's try this out together. Hi, Nina, hi, Kat, how we doing? And I will try and be good about answering your questions. Please don't hesitate to ask them whether we're live or later on, and I will follow up. All right, so we have our surfboard, funky foam surface, sealed, and I have two transfers that I'm probably gonna use. First one is Tropical Paradise. This is one of my most favorite transfers. Uh, it has just some beautiful tropical leaves on it. I love how it's very neutral and you could use it on any color. It'd be awesome on black, beautiful on white. And I'm actually going to use some of it in my bathroom. So last week, if, if those of you that watched, I did a beached and ocean themed window. And um, this week I am continuing on the bathroom, which is ocean themed. So I have this transfer that I'm gonna put on one of the walls, okay? Now I used part of this transfer previously, so I only have three sheets, which will fit perfectly on my little small wall that I have, but I have some scraps and I wanna use them. So I thought this would be a good project to show you how to save scraps and then use them on something else. So you can see sometimes there's only half a leaf and um, just different leaves shapes because I cut them up. So I'm gonna turn this down just a bit so you guys can see the bottom 
let's see. Yeah, the bottom part of our surfboard. And I'm going to apply these just where this line is and play off of that line so it doesn't matter if I have a sliced transfer because it will go right down on my line. So all these little scraps that I didn't know if I could use, I can totally use them and make something really cool with it. Oh, thanks, Nina. Yeah, I super love it in my bathroom. When I finish this, I'll, I'll share with you guys too. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna kind of line up my scraps and see what looks good and what I like. That one's kind of cut off. So I don't want a, sh a harsh edge. So I'm going to um, cut this leaf out and then the bottom here. So I have these nice leaves that have a finished bottom edge to show on my piece here. All right. So always save your scraps. Um, because you can use them for little things like this. Per picture frames are perfect for little scraps because there's such a small space. So if you only have half a flower, you can just smack that right on it and it's perfect. Okay, like that. I do have an unfinished edge right here on this. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off. That's cool. I got some unfinished edges right there. Trim those off. Perfect. That is going to be cool. Okay, now I have, oh, I like this bigger leaf. And that's the nice thing. The pattern is kind of random. And so I can place these random and it's still gonna look awesome. Okay, so I think what we should do is start by uh, placing one of these down and then we'll continue down our board. So I'm just gonna trim off that extra paper. So right here, edge, tool, and let's see how that's gonna fit. I think that's about perfect. Okay, so this, like I said, this is our experiment. Let's see if this is gonna work, because this is a crazy surface. Everyone keep your fingers crossed. But like I said, if it doesn't, we got plan B. And then if it does, we can save plan B for next week. That would be super great. So where are you guys all from? I see my friend Anthony on here, what's up? And I hear he is starting a new teaching class about business, I believe, your business, starting business, something like that. Anyway, he's over at Rugged Refinery and he does some awesome work. So if you guys haven't seen that, you should check it out because I think that would be fabulous. Okay, so I'm just applying the transfer here. I feel like this is gonna work. We're gonna find out in about two seconds though. Okay, yay, it's gonna work, I think, okay. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna make sure it's all the way on there. So like I said, uh, this is a weird funky surface. My chalk synthesis paint was kind of having trouble adhering to it and I can see it still is just a little bit. Um, so I applied a, the varnish sealer over top first to kind of create a barrier and now I'm applying my transfer over top. So I think this is gonna be okay. I just need to be kind of gentle with it so that I don't remove the uh, paint, don't lift it. Typically, this is not a, a problem you'll experience on furniture uh, unless there is some kind of oil or grease or residue underneath your paint and you put your paint over it. Uh, then it will kind of repel that. And if you play a transfer, then it could peel your paint. So if that ever happens, that's typically the cause. Oh yeah, that, that looks really cool. Okay, see, so one scrap leaf down. Let's fill in the bottom. All right, that one, I have two slices on it, but I still wanna use it. So I'm gonna come over here to our corner edge where it's gonna kind of fall off. And I'm gonna place it there, let's see, like that. And then when I'm all done, I can, well, maybe we'll come back to this piece, maybe it's too small. But when I'm all done, I can add some glaze or um, 
I'll like even kind of wash a darker color around it to give it some depth and dimension and it will go right over my transfer and look really good. So let's put this one here. I like that because it kind of breaks up our dark here and here. And then we have some of the, uh, we have some more space in between. And I pulled out another transfer I thought would be fun to pair this with. So I'll show you guys that as well. Let's go right down our line here. Perfect. So I have a question for all of you. Um, whether you have kids, grandkids, your aunt, uncle, neighbors have kids, you have dogs you take trick-or-treating. What are you guys gonna do this year? What is your plan? Will you have trick-or-treating in your neighborhoods? Will you do trunk-or-treat? Will you have like a safe trick-or-treating? I thought it would be super cool to set out like a cauldron full of candy and then have like two skeletons dressed up or something, like sit on the porch and just, I don't know, dress up, make it fun for kids and then they don't have to come right up to you. I don't know. What are you guys gonna do? Or do you even know? Okay, so now this might be a little bit more tricky because I've got lots of little sections. I'm gonna go real slow, make sure this is going to adhere and not affect my paint. So I'm just kind of pushing my finger down these. And then when I'm all done and I take all of this off, then I'm gonna go ahead and put um, a few thick layers of varnish on to really protect and seal all of it. Um, as it's probably going in a bathroom, then I'll be able to wipe it down and clean it if I need to. Wipe it down with like a damp cloth or whatever, if I ever needed to. What do you guys think? And I do have a before picture of it, so I will post that down below uh, when we finish. You guys can see what it looked like before. I wanted to paint it before we started. All right, I think that looks awesome right there. We're gonna bring it down here. And so you guys can't see what it did look like. But. Okay, so here's another little trick. I've got a harsh edge here because this is where it would join with the next transfer, right? But I don't have the transfer to join it with. So I am just going to kind of take my artisticness <laughs> artistic eye and kind of cut and create a leaf tip without having to uh, add another transfer. So I'm just gonna bring it right to a point and kind of come around the edge of that. And then I have a finished leaf and I don't have to grab another transfer and add anything, okay? And then I'm also gonna cut off this leaf right here. So we have three leaves with finished edges and one that's not. Uh, where do you buy the stencils? So if you go to redesignwithprima.com, there is uh, a page or a tab that you can go on and look for your local retailer and find them. Also keep in mind that most retailers ship all over the place. And so you can kind of, if there's a certain person you like to follow that sells them, then you can do that too. They're not really into it in Spain. Do you know I lived in Spain for a little while, Nina? I did, I lived in Sevilla and I loved it there. It was so beautiful. I could see that though. I think it's very, like America, Americans are very into Halloween. But Ontario, Canada, welcome. Okay, let's add this here. I think we'll add one more little section and then I'll show you guys what I wanted to do the top and uh, you tell me what you think of it. So I'll, I'll give you a hint. When you guys go and visit new places, do you ever t collect something? Like some people collect spoons, you know, that have the little top of wherever they visited. Some people collect t-shirts or hoodies from each place they go. So this is something that I collect from places that I go or love, and I'm gonna add them to the top. 
So tell me what your guess is. What do you guys think it is? Or what is something you would get from places you visit? Florida, hello. Beautiful, sunny Florida. It's gonna start getting cold here in Utah. So I will envy you and your warmth there. Okay. And it's really my edges I've gotta be careful of. I can see with that adhesion. Stickers, ding, 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 you're right. <laughs> I collect stickers um, from the different places I go and I have a couple I've kind of been holding on to. I used to put them on my water bottle at different places and um, they peel, they start to peel off. So that made me sad. So I thought, well, I've got to have a new place to add my stickers from places that I go and visit. So I thought this actually would kind of be fun, my little surfboard, if I added a transfer at the bottom and then up at the top, I can add some of my stickers. So these are a couple of them. This one is from Moab, Utah. And you've been to Moab. Moab has beautiful red rocks, it's amazing hikes, beautiful sights. Uh, this one is from Bryce Canyon. It's kind of a fun little adventure sticker. Uh, I went there with my hubby for a weekend of hiking, which was awesome. So anyway, I'm gonna put them up here. Let's add a few more and then we'll put down a couple stickers. Okay, I think this is perfect. Look metal, yes. Let's add this one, I'll hold it up and you guys tell me if you think I need more or if I should just leave it less busy. This would also be so, so cute with um, florals. So like I said, I found this at the thrift store uh, and it was just a cute, probably someone bought it from Hobby Lobby or something like that, I imagine. But you could totally just get a piece of wood and cut it into a surfboard shape and just drill like um, cut a line down the center of it. And then you could use florals on one side and add your bumper stickers, or you could use florals on the top. And if it's wood, you could add hooks and you could hang things from it. And it would be kind of a funky surfboard, cute project. It would be really fun to, um, I know I talked about Christmas gifts last time, but it would be fun to do as a Christmas gift or, or say, hey, we're having a girls night or guys night or whatever, and we're going to make these. You could add hooks for tools, which would be really cool. Jewelry, whatever suits your fancy. Towels. Lots of fun things you could do with it. Okay, let's put this on. I'll show you and then you guys tell me, you say less or more. Do we need more leaves on the bottom or are we done? Pull this off very carefully. Oh, I can see that's gonna be a struggle. Ooh, these smaller ones are more difficult with my little adhesion issue. Wee. Oh goodness. Yep, that's what I was talking about. Luckily, it's just kind of white underneath, so we'll just take that off. I think the Whatever is on top of the foam is where it has the adhesion issue there because it actually pulled off the original paint down to the core there. So it's, that's, I think that's what the deal is. And I don't even know what you would call it. I don't know what the finish is on it. Okay. Peel this one off. Okay. So, what do you guys think? Think we need more like right here a little bit, maybe? This side seems heavy and this side seems kind of empty. I'm thinking add a little bit here and maybe one small leaf there. 
that's what I am thinking. Okay. Let's see what we got left. And I love this big green one. Let's see what we can make it work. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's do it. <clears throat> so we'll just cut it up. And I'm doing the same thing, just cutting off my edge there to make it look like it needed something. You like it the way it is? Hmm. With one more. Add this little one here on the end it's just gonna add a tiny bit not much at all and then the other and let's put our stickers on top because it's gonna have a lot of stickers eventually hopefully we can fill it up with travels all right let's see For those of you that, I mean, in Utah, we ski and snowboard a lot. Not everyone, but I do, I love it. And so it would be fun to take an old snowboard. You can find them old snowboards, skateboards, things like that at the thrift store for pretty cheap. You could paint it, add some cool transfers, and then add some metal hardware underneath and use them as shelves or um, hang them sideways and make some cool wall art. So there's lots of different things that you can do. Okay, I kind of like that. I think just that is enough with the blank space at the bottom. So let's do that. Isn't that pretty? And then I love our distressing that came through. All right, so I've got these two stickers I wanna add, and then I have another sticker from a company that I super, super love. And this is actually part of their logo. So. <laughs> Um, some of you might have heard of Surf Prep Sanding, awesome sanding company. Uh, I am an affiliate with Surf Prep and I love their sanders and I love their little bus stickers. And so I thought it'd be cute to throw on here and add um, just because that's part of their company too. So let's see. Let's grab our stickers out, place them down. Now this part is done. I'll probably add a little bit of like a little bit of a darker paint or glaze just around the edges to make it pop and a little bit in our ocean wave here. Um, maybe even some metallics would look really cool. Like a metallic gold would look really rad inside that wave to divide it. And then I'll seal the bottom and then I won't seal the top. I'll, I keep adding my stickers and then eventually when it's totally full, I will seal the top up. So. Let's see where our stickers are gonna be. Yeah, I think we'll just make it kind of funky. So here's our Moab, Utah sticker. Yes, you will love it. I hope they get down there. Okay, there's one. See, kind of funky. I love it. And then, then I can keep in mind when you choose when I choose stickers when I go places, uh, I can kind of get funky colors or, you know, different things that I like. Let's see. I'm just go back a little bit so I can see with you guys. Oh, oh, well, <laughs> we almost had that go down there. Okay, let's put that one here. And then our, let's 
See, that's kind of fun, huh? Oh my gosh, I love it. It's super fun. And then our surf prep sticker. Let's put on, I don't know. Just put it right here. I'll have to see if I have more stickers to put on the other side. Anyway, we'll fill it up. So there we go. There is our little surfboard, the tropical paradise transfer on the bottom. We've got our traveling stickers on the top. Uh, like I said, you could get any shape of wood, cut it into a surfboard shape, line down the center, add florals or some transfer here, something up here, you could add hooks and do some really cool art or um, a hanging rack for backpacks, coats, hats, caps, or towels, tools. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and go and create something cool. See ya.